For starters, let's separate them into two groups and make one group chase the other. This is pretty funny, but they should get tired at some point. But that is kind of difficult when their brains are sea blue, chase blue, and sea red, chase red. So let's define a more complex brain, like this. So their brains are made up of a bunch of states, almost like it's a machine made of states. We could call it a statement. Oh! Explain simply, if a tic-tac is chasing another tic-tac and it gets tired, then it'll go back to wandering around aimlessly. And if it gets hungry enough, it'll start chasing other tic-tacs again. Yeah, now it's getting a bit more interesting. So let's raise the stakes and create... <laughs> now this is fun. But eventually this game will end. Either the red tic tacs are fast enough and go around killing all the blue tic tacs and then die of starvation, or the blue tic tacs outmaneuver the red, outlasting them and then get to live on peacefully. Unacceptable! So let's allow them to procreate. If two red tic tacs who have a high enough kill count meet together, they can increase their body count and create a little red murder baby. Likewise, if two blue tic tac, what's a good analogy, work the fields, they can earn coins, which they can then trade in to buy their own Nepo babies. Now the carnage goes on indefinitely. <laughs>